Crypto Rocks community, welcome to our weekly crypto news and market update video and this is what we're going to talk about today. First of all, we'll talk about that Norway Indirect is holding Bitcoin as well, that the European Union wants to see some comprehensive crypto regulation by 2024 and as well, the world's largest banks lost three times Bitcoin's market cap. We will head over to crypto market update and giving a Bitcoin analysis and now let's head over to the news. The world's largest sovereign wealth fund indirectly holds almost 600 Bitcoin and the Norway government pension fund, also known as the oil fund, has over 1 trillion assets. These are 1.4% of all global stocks and shares. And if we now taking a look on the shareholders of MicroStrategy, we can see that there's BlackRock and the Vanguard Group, but as well the Norwegian government pension fund with 1.51%. So here, due to MicroStrategy bought Bitcoins, 577 Bitcoins are the investment worth. So Norway is indirectly holding a lot of Bitcoins. And this is definitely bullish due to here some people invested in MicroStrategy, even if they knew that they are investing in crypto. So here is definitely a bullish news for cryptos. As well, the European Union wants to push forward crypto regulation. And we all know that the European Union is quite positive when it comes to the blockchain, but we don't have rules or regulations yet. So by 2024, the European Union should put in a place a comprehensive framework enabling the uptake of distributed ledger technology and crypto assets in the financial sector. It should also address the risk associated with these technologies. So what we can see here is that the European Union wants to push forward regulations and wants to bring cryptos and blockchain to the financial sector and this as well is a next step into the future and definitely something to keep an eye on all in all quite a good news but largest banks all lost in the corona pandemic and if you can see over here all these lines are for a bank and a huge bank and all these charts are going down so all the banks lost in the crypto pandemic and we're now taking a look how much it's more than 600 billion we can see jp morgan wealth fargo bank of america all on top losing double digits so quite a lot of money was shaking out of the market what we can see is that cryptos and bitcoin just went up to the levels before the corona pandemic and even higher so that even here if we having a next bank crisis to come cryptos could be a good and safe haven or and or should be maybe in your portfolio if you want to diversify do you here we can see that banks and the system how banks are running is very old and not meeting modern standards. We're now taking a look on the 7 day performance of the total crypto market capitalization. We can see that we started around with 340 billion USD, then waved up a little, then saw a red weekend, and right now hanging in a little minus. So overall, over the week, we saw a negative market, only a stable Bitcoin is holding this up. All the other tokens and coins are quite red. And if we're taking a look, we can see that over here in the 7 day performance chart, Bitcoin is quite positive, still with 2% up, but Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash between 2 and 5% down, and then it really is going heavy Binance Coin, Chainlink, Litecoin, all down 7 to 23%. So, weak for altcoins, while Bitcoin was having seen a quite green Monday and then. A neutral week exactly this we can see if we're taking a look on bitcoin from the last week so all in all bitcoin started this week we saw a red sunday and then a positive monday movement over here so we saw a quite good start we built a new trend line that just got broken down the last hours and then the market just flew away so based from the support at 10,250, the market waved up above 11k so went up around 8.5%, then got rejected as we touched 11k multiple times. So we saw now a sell-off in this market. We went down below the Bollinger Bands. We're now seeing maybe a positive movement back above the support lines. We have the MA lines all above us now as resistances. So we need a huge push to come back to 11k. Otherwise, the support at 10,250 should hold to not getting really bearish. But all in all, for now, the market is red and how you can see after this positive move of around 8% within a few days 
in like three days the market not saw any positive movement so we built it a new support at 10,800 which we touched in our waves a few times and then at the Monday morning opening was quite bearish the market went down we as working through the RSI is very oversold so if we are still in a positive market we could wave up over here to gain back some fringe otherwise you should take an eye or keep an eye on the support at 10,250. Hope you like this video. If you do so, I would love it if you could comment, like, or share this video. And we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly crypto news and market update provided by T-Rocks.